guys, welcome to another episode of Hard Track Apocalypse. Well, last time we <laughs> couldn't find Alice in Area 51, but now we have another destination that we are supposed to go to, called Midgar. Yeah, Midgar. I'm checking fine. if this was in minion. I feel like there's no more cities in this world that we have to go to. So let's just move to the land of... What is it called? Regin. Risen. Ryzen. I don't know how to read this. We've already been to Waterland and Cry. Here's Cry, so that's where Rizin is. Cool. Oh, sorry for that tree. I actually like the physics that's implemented into this game. The fact that we can actually bump into the trees and they fall down. We don't need to get into any pointless fights now. The good thing about this game is that you don't actually have to engage with like many of the fights. That's third of the brigade, so it's owned by Area 51. This whole bridge. Okay, take the body, I want to go through. This is a lot sim uh, more simple than uh, <laughs> the bridge that uh, is the bridge city of Pest. Bridge city of Pest is pretty cool. Imagine the whole city of the bridge. Get ready to Okay, I see a chest and I see a truck. And I'm gonna get that chest first. Go away, lorry. Stop smashing into me, please. Boom. Nice. Get ready to rumble. Okay. That was not too hard. I see a road over there, and I want to go there. Whoa, but this is just... Uh, Part of the entertainment. Oh, part of the entertainment center, I believe. Let's check. Yeah, all the roads lead there, so I choose my own way. I uploaded like 20, about 15 episodes? Something like that all together in like 3 days. Last time. Well that was crazy but I was pretty bored. Plus I had some videos uh, lying around so I just... I just like started uploading them. The fact is that before I couldn't really upload as I didn't feel really well and my voice was well <laughs> it wasn't the best shape and if you combine it with my accent oh boy nobody would understand me so I'll just get I just gave up for a few weeks but now I'm better I'm actually having a lot of fun playing this game because this is really nostalgic to me. And that's like one of the best feelings, nostalgia. It's like hearing 
an old song that you're always used to listen to. Most people have it when they listen to the old Star Wars soundtrack. Although I didn't listen to it, like I didn't hear it when I was very young, I f still feel like nostalgic to it because uh, it was everywhere. But exactly the same feeling I have uh, for the soundtrack of this game actually. Now we re even like re really, really have to use this weapon. I mean, unless there is gonna be like a lot of enemies. Get ready to rumble. Like these aren't even like a challenge for me anymore. You, you can say, oh. You didn't choose like good difficulty. Not necessarily. The difficult the difficulty would just mean that I'm taking more damage. Which is not good. I don't want to be like destroyed uh, much quicker than my opponents do. Because like I think that when I still like sh um, try to attack my enemies, they take regular damage. I just take increased damage. And I don't want that. We have fair chance right now. It's supposed to be fair. Different difficult, like always when you look at the game and you see, oh, that's the game difficulty. You think it's gonna improve AI and all that. Usually it's not the case. Uh, same thing with new Total War games. Uh, it's, uh, oh, they're selling it here. Never mind, let's just sell it, we have a lot of money. And they are actually just giving the AI more bonuses in Total War when you Total War franchise when you increase the difficulty. So just making the enemy stronger and you you and it also weakens you. It doesn't improve the AI. I mean I feel like it would cost a lot of money to implement something like that it's reasonable that we don't have it in the games. <laughs> but I would really love to see the game that like improves the AI. I think that the uh, YouTuber Legend of Total War uh, once said that the difficulty slider is basically fun slider. The higher the difficulty gets in the new games, the the lower the fun. Because you're just uh, struggling with impossible, which sometimes it can be cool, but also maybe difficult, as still the AI uh, plays at the same level. Uh, you're just you're having more trouble at the beginning, at the beginning like half an hour. Well, it's gonna be more of a just me driving here episode. I mean, I hope that something interesting happens, but I, <laughs> but I can't say for sure. I completely forgot how like the game works when you actually decide to help the Alice at the beginning of the game. I feel like I prefer not helping her. But I will leave it for my second playthrough. If it is gonna exist. I hope it will. On this channel. Oh. Caesar. Well, goodbye, Caesar. That was quick.
the new world of Brazil. Looks nice. There is more green here, I think. Definitely more yellow. The first worlds are basically kind of similar to each other. They look about the same. I mean, some parts are, are really different. And I feel like this part has... Oh. Since we are here, this is a big, big, <coughs> big guard. Which is a huge city with this huge observatorium here uh, on this dome. And it looks really, really cool. Looks so technologically advanced compared to like everything else that we can find in this game. It's really cool. It has like this small city section here. I really like the design that went into this. And even look at this door, it's so out of place, but I feel that's how it's supposed to be. It's like finding something like technologically advanced in like a Fallout game. Hear that music? Exactly. Can we buy a new car here? No. Can we buy an improvement? That we already have everything. everything. Let's repaint our track. Pretty is fine. It's just a bar, it doesn't have a name. Barman. Hello, traveler. Do you have any work for me? Hunting season? Cool. Museum. Here we have someone named Citizen. What do you need? I am looking for a girl. Her name is Alice. Do you happen to know where she is now? Alice was here, but she left to Porto for Porto several uh, hours ago. Thanks. I will keep searching. Several hours ago. So we are really close to her. <laughs> Maybe that. Okay, we are six kilometers away from her. So let's just make that trip. Sure, it's gonna be fun. It's showtime. Oh no, no, maybe no. <laughs> oh, okay, I maybe actually get his weapon, so let's fight with this huge machine named Ural after the mountain range. They can fight in Russia. The Euro Mountains are actually... Oh, we have Rusty Vector. Let's see how it works. It's so silent compared to our last weapon. And uh, Euro Mountain Range actually separates Russia from Europe, so it's very important in geography. Fun fact to know, this channel was actually supposed to be a geography channel first. Did I just change my bite? No, no, no. Oh! <laughs> Why is he having so good armor? Oh yeah, I'm using but the, my worst gun. I mean... Wars gun, not the wars gun. Yeah, this one sucks. Let's let's use our good old rain metal. It's counting season, so we're gonna get a lot of money for it, which is gonna be really helpful since we won't have to like spend a lot of money for repair. We have a little village here. Nice. Cocos. Oh, Cohos. Nice name. That's a lot of money. Pound, pound. Bar Nostalgia. That's what's 
that's what I was talking about in this episode. Nostalgia. Barman Liam. Hello, traveler. Do you have any work for me? Please deliver this package to Locus. Sure, I will. Has nice gas station implemented in here. Some turrets. It's a pharma union because of the FU that's written on there. Let's just travel this way. We have a road that leads over there. I don't actually know what's there. I don't think I have I've ever actually been here, like in this part of the let's go there. We have nothing to lose. I mean, unless we don't find anything, it's just gonna end up boring. I mean, they always put roads here, like this game, for something. Like the road that we had, uh, so... I think in the last episode, where we found uh, this river crossing, where we could just casually cross the river. The road was like... Hidden almost, but not fully. Something is over there. Can you stop jumping, please? My truck. I'm a train. Hey, some crates or boxes or cargo. That's something. Nothing else in here, okay. It's always fun to explore and check out stuff like that. That was implemented basically for people to see, like, just to go here, take some stuff, earn some additional money, maybe to have some fight here and there. I like this aspect of this game. Observe that if you actually shoot uh, the hunter, uh, like destroy him while he's shooting out one of his missiles, the missile is gonna disappear. So even if like there is a missile flying at us, but he's like down to like ten uh, life points, it's still important to like keep attacking him. We just made a full circle. Well, that's not so good. Here we have Midgar. Oh. Maybe it was worth it. Maybe we can get another weapon here. Slow vector. Nicely arranged. Cool. Well, I killed the second guy. Was it actually was it actually the explosion that was left off by uh, like this guy's truck being basically destroyed? Possible. That's possibly sure. We're back in this village, but this time we're not going over there. We'll just repair. We have too much money, I don't even need to care about collecting loot right now. At least for some time, because we are gonna have to buy new trucks, which are gonna be increasingly expensive. It doesn't look like there's nothing we had in this world, it's just a racetrack. 
Maybe if this game was online, you could brain somebody here. Why is there so many MP on these guys now? In here. How did Alice survive with her small car? But here, at least her HP was like 1,500. Which is huge for a scout car. Nice. Destroyed bridge here. Climatic. We have to go there, but I think that this is the... That is good to check out all their villages. Just checking out. This village is, looks really crappy. At least it has some tourists. Olympus. This village sure doesn't feel like Olympus to me. Elder Zeus. Bar champion. All those references. Hello Trevor, do you have any job for me? Deliver this to Colcos, I agree. Maybe we'll go there sometime. We didn't have to go there now. Locos is here. Let's go to Porto first. Nope. Not today. What should be the episode uh, name? I mean, episode title. I'm not sure. Maybe just exploring. Perhaps me doing nothing for a very long time. gonna go to Porto and then I think that's gonna be the ending of the episode Porto is a very cool name I think that one city in uh, Portugal also has this name and it's a port city of course does that actually simply mean port in Portuguese I don't know maybe I have some Portuguese viewers I have no idea. I think it's a lake. This environment is something we haven't seen before. It's nice. There's a road that goes around the mountain here and over there so there's supposed to be something behind this huge mountain but I don't feel like going there whoa what was that oh I got so scared where did they come from did they just go out the leg I know these are popping these guys are popping out randomly they're just spawning everywhere but that was completely Unrealistic. I give this game 2 out of 10. Just for that. These houses look like they're made of submarines. That's so cool. Oh, they're actually like ships just flips outside, flipped upside down. Guys, why are you so close to this city? Which looks cool. 
Well, they actually have storms as their turrets. And their faction is called Techno. <laughs> Techno. Let's see if we can find Alice here. No? Is this a joke? Where is she? Berman Max. Hello, Traveler. Do you have work for me? Okay, okay, okay. Citizen Kane. Maybe this is. The one. What are you... What? Are you talking to me? Don't you know where I can find the girl named Alice? No, Lisa never came here. Probably she was attacked by raiders on her way here. Their hideout is at the seashore. I'll go check this out. Oh, so Alice was actually attacked by someone. Now we have to rescue her. Well, what are we gonna do this in the next episode? So t stay tuned and comment, give this video a, something, <laughs> share it, whatever, do whatever you want. See you in the next episode of Hard Track Apocalypse. Bye.